Good morning, my friends. This is VJ Franz K. I'm unboxing the Posca Mopper. These are new uh, paint markers, large, um, large tip available here, and uh, it has this unusual shape that has never been seen before in Posca markers, but it is. Um, easy to use when you are doing a surface like a wall or something like that. Obviously they're intended for um, graffiti artists, but uh, they can be used by anyone who is willing to pay the somewhat large price tag for these markers. They are kind of pricey. And so in this case I only decided to try two of them just to see if I if I like them and if it's going to be worth it for me to get more of them. So that's, let's see. So after that, unscrew and you can shake it. And there is, there is a ball clunking around in there also. Posca Mupper. Mitsubishi Pencil Company, Posca. Or really, it's probably Posca. So I have these uh, three sheets of paper here. The black, the blue, and this sort of wild orange. Wow! It immediately started and even sort of some overflow there. I didn't expect it to be that that quick. And I see I was pressing down kind of hard thinking I had to start it going sort of like one of those other markers. But you don't really have to do that I guess because there isn't there isn't a valve that you need to um, there isn't a valve that you need to press um, to make it uh, operate. So it's like there's no reason for the um, interesting that there is this sort of sponge style tip here ready to uh, be used. So now I'm not sort of pressing down because I notice this is what I do with any paint marker is if, if I have sort of overdone that um, amount of paint earlier I'll try and pick up some of that extra paint and sort of get it back onto the brush tip and then be able to use it again sort of uh, spread it out more along the paper. Just sort of creating some interesting designs here. No particular um, no particular structure or anything like that to what I'm doing, but just these winding lines. So you can see, as I saw in some other discussions, it is great coverage to go over this dark black and it is a little surprising that it seems like less coverage going over the blue and then also a bit less coverage the blue looks the worst because the blue is kind of showing through here and it is mostly covering the orange but that is very surprising I gotta say so now I will put the cap on this white paint and I don't know when I was I, I wanted to do white or black when I was ordering these but I also said to myself I want to do a color which people haven't uh, been showing on YouTube a lot already and I used to never use yellow this is my yellow story but then I realized that yellow looks good when you use it with black or some other high contrast combination. 
and uh, also that I could use yellow for outlining. Now here it hasn't totally soaked out of the bottom sponge yet, so let's find out. All right, it started nearly immediately, so I guess it always just sort of does that. It's doing a bit of drip, and so here taking it around and doing, you know, different, different stuff, maybe sort of simple cave painting style shapes or something here with this. It is a little bit different and unusual to be drawing with a hand in this uh, position, but I'd say it's not unpleasant and uh, definitely get used to it, actually, because I do a VR art. It reminds me sort of of holding the controller of Oculus Quest or something to be able to do that, but once again the yellow over the blue doesn't look uh, very good at all actually that's very surprising I thought it would look the best because the yellow and blue are uh, complementary colors, is that what you call them? I see, a little bit more covers it better but we're still getting that green mixing at the edge there Of course, if you have uh, paint that is too transparent, just try try um, multiple coats, obviously. I wonder if uh, some of that blue is getting onto the... onto the head of the sponge there. So, I guess we better clean off the sponge, and luckily I have this white board here also. So just clean this off a bit. See, um, it's interesting. Press down a little harder, maybe get some more color. Yeah, that's right. That's looking pretty good again. Hopefully not contaminated or anything, but um, yeah, it's it's a bit different and more subtle than I expected it to be, and the lines are a bit less huge. That's interesting. I'm going to bring out in a minute a more inexpensive sort of graffiti style markers that I ordered from other companies that are it's a different, uh, a different shape of the tip, so obviously this is like a round uh, sponge. Will I ever get that blue off there? Well, we'll find out later. I'll put this back on here. The complications of paint markers. There's, there's so much subtlety to them, really. I. I'm often fascinated. Let's see, did we get any any marks on... Maybe that is some of the black paper rubbing off on this. But now I will do the surprising thing of putting white paint on a white card just because. Clean it off. looks pretty clean. It's interesting. It might be the paint. We'll see what happens to it when it dries, but the paint is almost almost uh, there. There you see the at this angle. The paint appears to be brighter white than the paper that it is on. So interesting. That yellow is a really nice sort of slightly golden yellow, which um, I think it is more 
likely that you'll find a use for that than just a more lemon or let's see so I'm going to compare it with this Posca style marker I don't have an actual Posca with me right now but I do have these other ones so very similar make the line there Surprisingly enough, this Posca style small marker is having much less difficulty going over that blue. Very surprising. But as I'm discovering by using these paint markers a lot more, you never know what to expect. Certain colors have different uh, chemical properties or something and the chemical properties can react positively or otherwise with the surface that you are attempting to decorate so you never know until you actually put together the two things so then here is a similar brand new acrylic marker SFAIH don't know how to pronounce that as a word but um, these markers are pretty good I got them on some sort of uh, holiday special yeah it's definitely comparable all of the wet ink paint ink here is starting to make the paper really bow. This is cardstock from Astro Bright's um, uh, 12 inch square. It's nice quality. It's definitely more artistic quality than um, the stuff that is it's more artistic than um, construction paper would be because that has sort of a, a thick uh, scratchy surface almost to it so that can be hard on the pen tips really and uh, I guess a semi smooth surface might be the best choice so here are the sharpie the Sharpie Creative markers that I have been uh, looking at recently and see how they compare. Interesting. So it goes over it goes over the black, it goes over the other paint. Always good to see that. Wow. It appears to have no trouble whatsoever with this blue. That is interesting. I wonder if Sharpie Creative Markers is going to possibly give us later on maybe they would give us a super wide marker like the Posca Mopper. The thing is that that would require a very sort of liquid liquidy paint to have it flow like that and I don't know if that is really they might have to do a different formula so here is the black creative marker first we'll have it go across go across the white and it completely covers it of course no problem put some just to see what what it does there and it appears to be darker than the paper also so no problem using these two uh, formulas of markers together it appears so that's very good um, I sometimes end up using them at home but the real reason I first got into Posca's 
it's just that I wanted to be able to do a paint uh, type of thing but when I was somewhere else but a home studio or some sort of art studio it would be Sharpie brush same formula but different brush I really like these brushes interesting that blue turquoise blue that is a really nice color maybe my favorite it's hard to pick any favorites with these nice colors but uh, this is one of my favorites here they they claimed that it looks different on bright and dark markers like on this really blazingly bright orange it does look dark where it looks quite light over this uh, sort of deep sky blue wow it looks great it looks great on the black paper you can't see that because I'm above the top of the camera view but anyway interesting comparisons continuing here got to clean off this pink marker a little bit so it doesn't So here is an Artistro Jumbo Tip marker. This is a less, let's see, I'll bring out the camera view a little bit more so you can see more of the paper. But, um, so I have this I have this wide Artistro jumbo marker here and this is a more standard wide uh, pump marker so here there is that and see if I I can pump it to get it's interesting that this marker has the sort of narrow wide and that kind of makes it more versatile even though if you're trying to get a uniform totally uniform line like this you can't so there's there's the ups and downs there but like here going from this straight thin line This is not the ideal way of holding it. Straight thin line to a wider line because of that. But anyway, I am surprised to say that the inexpensive Artistro marker seems to be outperforming the uh, Posca Mopper drastically. That, that I did not expect. But I don't know. Maybe, maybe this particular surface is not uh, the ideal one for that. But let's see. I'll clean off the purple with um, this card here. There, that's good enough. Anyway, I guess I'm lucky I did not spend over our around a hundred dollars to get a full set of Posca moppers. He 
here is the black Artistro jumbo tip. Now these do have kind of a thick fumes uh, emanating from them. So that is not good. It would be good to wear a, a respirator mask or something. And you can wear your COVID mask for a little bit of protection, but uh, COVID mask is more designed for uh, particles and bacteria rather than uh, fumes and stuff like that, which are obviously just uh, the size of molecules, so they can kind of uh, go through it, but still better to have anything in the way than nothing. So this is getting to be a sort of messy line abstract here, but we're just uh, discovering what, what do all of these look like. So here, using this edge if I want to, I could make a simple round figure or something like that easily with the edge or just a little bit of effort and then these same markers go wide again but like I said these these do put out significant fumes uh, particularly the metalized ones I've noticed and that is uh, too bad because um, the metal ones are sometimes the most eye-catching in a design that you're doing, so you might want to do it or just, uh, and then here is a basic, basic jumbo permanent marker, fairly standard marker here. Easily covers easily covers, wow, now running the standard marker through that paint produced this weird dragging sensation, so it it was not totally happy about me doing that. But uh, on my art I have been using uh, regular ink markers with these paint markers a lot, and it is usually okay if once again you just make sure to try things out carefully before you make a before you uh, bet a lot of your project on being able to use certain things together just to make sure they work or be ready to improvise fast so there's that and obviously uh, it will be better if you let the layers dry before going over them. But uh, sometimes you can get a nice blending, blending effect between the things. All right, and the last thing I'm going to do here, let's see, I have this, I have this blue and this pink. So, oh wait, I already tried that here, but I guess the pink might stand out a bit much on this um, line design, but we'll try it anyway. Wow, that pink is showing out strongly with this blue. So that goes across the other paint very easily. Not a problem at all. Oh yeah, try to go across the the purple even though it isn't totally dry yet. And it still does a pretty good job going across it and then over on the black paper here what will it do still quite visible on the black paper so 
I don't know, I'm a bit surprised by the results of this demonstration that uh, we have the Posca mopper markers here and then here are these other markers and I don't know it's like maybe it's just something about this blue that is interacting but it seems like the other more conventional markers had a much easier time on it but maybe I will do one more video with a smooth surface we'll try that and then see if these really literally shine when compared in that way but anyway thank you for watching please like and subscribe leave your comments and questions this is VJ Franz K my channel is all about creative tech which uh, often includes computer technology and sound technology but sometimes obviously visual VJ stands for video jockey but also I do visual art and uh, these are technology these sharpie brushes new markers new formula new tips and these Posca moppers also it's uh, chemical and design technology for the uh, the ways that it it goes so you can I don't know anyway thank you very much for watching consider supporting me on patreon or here on YouTube